Swarm Technologies have been making headlines recently due to SpaceX's sudden interest in the company's outstanding satellite technologies. However, aside from the fact that SpaceX has now picked an interest in it, not many people know a lot about the young company. That's why today on Super Freaky Science, we'll be discussing what Swarm Technologies is and why they've caught the interest of SpaceX. What is Swarm Technologies and what do they specialize in? Swarm Technologies Incorporated is a private company founded by Silicon Valley telecommunications experts in 2017. The company's main purpose is to develop a low-Earth orbit satellite to build a constellation for global communications with Internet of Things devices using a simple but secure store and forward technique. To those of us who aren't techies and don't understand half of what I just described, not to worry, we'll break it down for you. Firstly, what are these Internet of Things devices? Well, in simple words, Internet of Things is an interconnection of computing devices through the Internet that is enabled in everyday objects to enable them to send and receive data. These computing devices, including sensors, trackers, and GPS devices, which are then put in common appliances like thermostats, speakers, blenders, electric fireplaces, and many more. In a nutshell, the concept is basically letting ordinary appliances be controlled remotely through a smartphone or some other smart device. Ever seen a light come on just by clapping or a thermostat adjusting its settings from a voice command? Well, those are all made possible through the IoT devices. By enabling these devices in ordinary appliances and linking them to a central system, the appliance can be controlled remotely without human intervention. Smart light switches, smart curtains, and blinds are all products of IoT devices. Now that we understand what IoT devices are and what they do, let's break down what Swarm Technology Store and Forward Technique is. A store forward is a transmission technique in telecommunications in which data is transferred to a middle receiver or device and is stored to be forwarded subsequently to its final receiver. It is a pretty straightforward method of data transfer in that it will store the data in case of delays in transmission, especially in situations of low connectivity strength. The middle or intermediate receiver stores the data to verify its authenticity before relaying it to the final receiver. Swarm Technology satellites were developed to deliver low-cost broadband connections to these IoT devices, effectively serving as the middle receiver. Swarm Technology's Brush with the FCC Being a company founded and registered within the United States, Swarm Technologies is subject to FCC regulations and rules. To put that into perspective, even prominent established companies like SpaceX, Dynatex and Blue Origin all require FCC approval to launch satellites or rockets into low Earth orbit. The need for these permissions are for basic regulatory purposes, but most importantly for safety and accountability to the government. With that said, Swarm Technologies showed a blatant disregard for FCC regulations during the launching of some of its very first satellites. In 2017, shortly after the company became active, Swarm had just finished development on its pioneer Pisco satellite but required FCC approval to launch them. As expected, the company applied for FCC approval for its first experimental radio service license for the Pisco satellites. But due to concerns regarding the tracking of the satellites stemming from their very small size, with each one being less than 10 centimeters in diameter, the application was rejected by the FCC in December of 2017. But unknown to the FCC, Swarm Technologies launched the satellites anyway in January of 2018 from India. Using the Polar Launch Vehicle as a piggyback ride, it took the FCC over three months before the unauthorized launch was discovered, in which time Swarm Technologies had secured another approved launch of more satellites scheduled in April of 2018. The April launch was delayed pending an investigation of the satellites launched from India. The result of the investigation revealed that Swarm Technologies had done more than just launch four experimental satellites. In addition, they have made numerous data transfers and signal exchanges between the satellites and the company's ground station in Georgia. 
This was illegal because unauthorised signal transfers over US airspace by unapproved satellites was considered dangerous due to its privacy invasion implications. Furthermore, the investigation revealed that Swarm Technologies had carried out numerous unauthorised signal and equipment tests before the launch. Spaceflight Technologies in India insisted it had no idea Swarm didn't have FCC approval. Spaceflight stressed that the fact that the responsibility for FCC approval rested on the client being Swarm Technologies and not on them. The unauthorised satellite launch prompted backlash from the rest of the space industry. These concerns were regarding the hazardous potential of such small satellites, which are commonly known as CubeSats due to their small cube-like shape. Other satellite companies stressed concern considering collision possibilities, seeing as how Swarm Technologies was able to track the satellites and the FCC and other companies couldn't. Some industry veterans stated Swarm might have just fully not grasped the effect of their actions while others insisted it was a blatant disregard on their part, with full knowledge of the implications. Swarm Technologies was fined $900,000 as part of an agreement with the FCC, including sanctions requiring the startup to follow strict compliance with FCC regulations. Industry officials insisted the fine was relatively low considering the magnitude of the offence and potential damage that could have ensued from it. But the FCC stressed the fact that the negative press surrounding the offence had already impacted the company enough and would sway them from any future infractions. Further sanctions included the requirement that the company submit additional paperwork regarding an intended satellite launch at least 45 days before said launch for the next three years. Following the brush with the FCC, Swarm Technologies has had numerous successful launches over the past three years, thereby upgrading the number of its satellites in low Earth orbit. The company has since launched over 120 CubeSats as part of an intended 150 satellite constellation around the world. These satellites have been commissioned to communicate with the Swarm Tile, a two-way data modem designed to function as an IoT device embedded in other appliances. The company also offers low-cost data plans as well as a dedicated Swarm development kit. SpaceX Acquires Swarm Technologies Following an FCC filing in July of 2021, SpaceX expressed intentions to acquire Swarm Technologies, making the young startup a wholly-owned subsidiary of SpaceX. This marked a bold and rather unorthodox move by SpaceX, which is known to use only internally developed tech and rarely purchases third-party products. SpaceX's chief engineer, Elon Musk, has always been a champion for innovative startups and with SpaceX's reputation for blowing up rockets in a bid to get data, it's no surprise it chose Swarm Technologies. Swarm's 2018 FCC debacle was an attempt to advance its technology regardless of FCC approval and guidelines, and everyone knows Elon Musk is an advocate for experiment, innovate, blow stuff up, and rules be damned. Swarm Technologies claims to have the smallest commercially operational satellites in space, which could be one major reason why SpaceX has moved to acquire the company. SpaceX's Starlink constellation has the largest number of satellites in space with over 1,600 operational satellites, and that's not all. Elon Musk has expressed that he intends to reach 42,000, but launching that many satellites with each one weighing roughly 500 pounds might be problematic, as most industry officials and astronomy experts have indicated. This might be the reason for SpaceX's interest in acquiring Swarm Technologies to help it reduce the weight and size of Starlink satellites to smaller CubeSat size. Swarm Technologies would benefit from SpaceX's vast resources and funding and SpaceX would gain, in return, the satellite expertise of the Swarm team. It sounds like a win-win for both parties and we expect to see more satellite launches soon. Do you think we need more satellites in the sky with our current number already causing astronomical disturbances? Or is the promise of high-speed broadband worth the hassle? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section, and be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video.